Hey, with over 500 lots, uh, nine builders, and almost 100 different floor plans, I bet you can find what you're looking for here. Let's talk about Cadence. So I guess we should start here. Here is phase one of the Cadence neighborhood. You can see up on the north side, we are entering through Shoal Creek Parkway. This is 65 lots. Uh, and you can see as you pull in, there is a neighborhood pool right there on the right. If you go in and take a right and then another right, those seven grayed out lots up there are all the model homes. Um, so they won't be a for sale for quite some time. Those are gonna be model homes, probably for the duration of them building out this entire neighborhood. Each of them are built by a different builder. So you can kind of see uh, what the neighborhood looks like. And I'm gonna do a video of each of those houses. In fact, I've done one already. And so uh, check the link to the description. And if there's one I, or more, I'll drop it in there. The other colors represent the status of each lot, but of course that changes almost daily. There's no lots available right now as of today, um, but the orange spaces are lots that are being built on and those houses will ultimately be available to sell for sale. So you could get a house right now in Cadence and depending on how far along they are in the building process, uh, you may be able to actually pick out a few things like uh, the, the countertops and the floors uh, and that sort of thing. But this, of course, is just the beginning because this is what it's ultimately going to be over 500 lots. You can see the master plan on the right, the colorful portions up in the very top is phase one that I just showed you. Below there is um, the section of phase two um, that is coming next. Phase two, just south of phase one is coming next. It's another 50 lots or so. The uh, builders have told me that they hope to have all the streets done by June so that we should be able to start picking out lots uh, about then. Um, this whole neighborhood though, that whole everything is gonna take, as you can see, just several years to build out. Notice that red line running north-south. Uh, that line is actually a school district border between North Kansas City schools on the right and Platte County schools on the left. Fear not, A, both school districts are fantastic. The majority of the neighborhood will be in North Kansas City on the right-hand side, North Kansas City School District. They will go to Staley High School, a fantastic, our, our newest high school up here. Um, that's where they will go. And it's gonna be a while before they grow over and even uh, build some of the houses that will be ultimately going to uh, Platte County School Districts. If you can see up on the top left, you can see sort of a little neighborhood on its own, sort of set aside uh, on the, I guess that would be the north uh, west side of, uh, of Cadence. It's called Cadence Villas. It's sort of the same as Cadence, but sort of not. Uh, but they are maintenance provided houses there and they're already building those. And so some of those would be um, available to you as well. And then notice on the south west side, uh, I've got a big square made there called Platte Purchase Park. That park actually exists. It's there right now, mostly a softball and baseball facility, but it also has one mile walking trail all the way around it, a small playground, some other stuff. I think it's got pickleball courts, but that's right there and it will ultimately be adjacent to the Cadence uh, neighborhood. So where is Cadence on a map? You can see here, it is centrally located sort of in the middle of the Kansas City Northland. Now, if you wanna know more about the Northland and all that kind of stuff, I've done a, uh, a video on orientation into the Northland and I'll have a link to that in the description. I recommend that you watch it. It's also set out to where you can just jump to the pieces that are interesting to you, but take a look at that uh, if you'd like. So Cadence sits uh, right in the center. It's about probably less than 10 minutes uh, over to the airport, about 20 minutes to downtown, maybe 25 minutes out to the stadium complex where uh, both the Royals and the Chiefs play. Their two stadiums are right next to each other. If we zoom in just a little bit, you'll see that this is right off 169 Highway. 169 runs north-south and really just right through the middle of downtown. So you'd exit Shell Creek Parkway, take a right, and in just a few seconds, uh, maybe a couple of minutes, you'll be pulling into your uh, new neighborhood. So is Cadence a super expensive place to live where only the ultra rich can afford a house? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that right after this break. So 
So the Cadence neighborhood is developed by a local company called Hunt Midwest. Now, you football fans might know and be familiar with the name Hunt, especially as it relates to Kansas City. The Hunt family still owns the Kansas City Chiefs, and the patriarch of the family, Lamar Hunt, was instrumental in creating the American Football Conference, uh, you know, back in the day. Hunt Midwest is marketed by uh, Reese Nichols, but you wanted to know about the prices, so let's talk about that. The majority of the houses here in Cadence will be listed somewhere between five hundred and six hundred and fifty thousand. There are a couple that are listed under five hundred thousand, and there's one right now. At, I think it tops out at about seven hundred and eighty thousand uh, bucks. Lots of different floor plans, as I mentioned. All of them are mostly between two and five thousand square feet. Now. Uh, SAB Homes, I know they've got uh, a couple of floor plans that are under 2,000 square feet, and so does uh, Hearthside Homes. They have uh, a floor plan that's under 2,000 square feet. And then the ones you can kind of see over my shoulder here, in fact, I've got a, I've got a video of this one. It's called the Jefferson, uh, made by um, Patriot Homes, built by Patriot Homes. It's a doozy. It's 36, over 3,600, 3,610 square feet or something like that. And so they get bigger, but the majority is between 2,000 thousand and five thousand square feet. Cadence, uh, the neighborhood here, does not allow custom builders. So in other words, you can't go find a builder, buy a lot, and just build whatever you want, even if they conform to the neighborhood standards here. Uh, all the lots are pretty much spoken for. The builders are already spoken for, and they're going to use those builders for here. Some neighborhoods will let you build a uh, uh, just a custom home with a custom builder, uh, but not here at Cadence. And that's okay. You know, uh, nine builders, almost a hundred different floor plans. I think you can find uh, what you need probably right here. I think I showed you earlier, there's a pool just as you enter the Cadence neighborhood. And there's one more planned uh, ultimately when this whole thing uh, gets built out. And there's also going to be a walking trail all through the neighborhood as, uh, as part of their amenities. So for now, let's, uh, let's take a little look around the neighborhood and uh, see what it looks like out there. Thank you for choosing to let me be your guide as we look through the uh, Cadence neighborhood here because my passion is helping people like you, good folks, find just the right house, perfect house for you and your family. I'm wondering what you kind of thought. Was there things in the neighborhood that you wish we had? Is there something that you were surprised that's here? Uh, the size, anything, put it put it in the comments. Let me know so that I can make a better, do a better job of making videos in the future. Hey, I spend a lot of my time researching new home neighborhoods, uh, visiting with builders and their sales agents, reviewing the new home sales contracts so that I'll be ready when you need me to be your agent and represent you in this very volatile marketplace. If you'd like to be one of the first to see the new tours of the neighborhoods and the tours of the model homes, uh, just subscribe to this channel. And please hit the like button and the bell to let YouTube know that I'm producing content that's valuable to you. In order to reach out to me uh, so we can talk more specifics about your home journey, just text me or call me or 
send me an email, jay at dwellkansascity.com. I look forward to meeting you. Hey, thank you very much for visiting the Dwell Kansas City YouTube channel. I'm going to continue to do neighborhood tours. I'm going to continue to do model home tours. I'm going to continue to sit down with builders and interview them. And you can be the first to hear of all this if you just subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notification. I hope that you will.